this is vino in this video we are going to learn how to download and install mysql for beginners so for that first we have to open browser in that browser we have to type mysql downloads we have to select mysql community gpl downloads so one more page will open here so in this we have to select mysql installer for windows if you select one more page will open here you will get two options okay we have to choose mysql installer community not a mysql installer web community no thanks just start my download if you click it mysql installer download will start after a download completed we have to install it so it will take some time the mysql installer window will open here uh, no need to choose any options by default the radio button developer default will be selected let it be just click next button in next page it is asking you path okay no need to change any path okay, already it is there you just click next button then here it is very important step requirements to install mysql we need a basic softwares so one is microsoft visual c++ visual studio and python so these three softwares should be installed before installing mysql right here manually we have to install so you can see that status in status uh, it is mentioned manual manual means we have to download visual studio version separately and then python python software also we have to download and install then only we can install mysql software so next option is we have to execute select execute button so automatically microsoft visual c++ redistributable dialog box will open so here we have to install this visual c++ first okay if you install it properly then only we can install mysql okay this is a basic i agree to the license terms and conditions so we have to select and uh, we have to click install button then it is very easy to install microsoft visual c++ so after you finished installation okay then manually we have to install python if you click on that particular python software uh, manually it will show you a download url www.python.org if you click it okay the web page will open so here we have we can download a recent version so after uh, software is downloaded we have to install the python software So install now that's all the simple steps easily we can install python after successfully installed python we have to go back to mysql installer so after we install python software it shows one more uh, dialog box those product with missing requirement will not be installed or updated do you want to continue so very basic is microsoft visual c++ and python okay, visual studio is not a important so i am not installing visual studio i want to continue i am going to select yes procedure so here we don't have any work it will take some time okay 
MySQL shell will take more time to install. Uh, just click next button again next button type and networking don't do any changes you just click next button in authentication method don't do any changes accounts and roles current root password so you just give any four characters okay usually i will use root r o o t just click check button so just click next button and next execute button then finish button Again, it goes to product configuration, page, next, and MySQL router configuration page, next, product configuration, connect to server. So here, already we gave a name root that is automatically taken for username. And now we are going to give password. So password is very important. So password also I am going to give root, R-O-O-T. So if, if you forget password, we cannot open a MySQL page. So password is very important. So my username is root, my password also root. If you check the connection, successful will come. Then next button. Then execute button. Then finish button. next button finish button that's all installation process is over click start windows button and then we have to select mysql command line client this is the software we are going to use it for practicing